Chalfont St Giles Parish Church. Isn't this lovely? Ah, oh, very calming. Ah, and just on cue, the bells have stopped ringing so that you can hear us say, Welcome to the Chalfonts. Welcome to Chalfont St. Giles. This is the first port of call on our trip around the Chalfonts. Now you may not have heard of the Chalfonts. Well, they are an area of hills and little villages and towns around Buckinghamshire. And not far from central London actually, about 25 miles or so, and just a short bus ride from our home in Uxbridge. And it's somewhere which is a nice place to go just for a day out in the countryside. So let's take a look around. The Merlin's Cave. Ooh, that looks like a very interesting bar. A wizard of a place. Hello, duckies. Look, there's so many of them. Is it feeding time? Hello! One of the great things about coming to villages like Chalfont St Giles is discovering something like the duck pond. Well, we've got a river near us with ducks on it, but there's just something really extra special about a pond. When you see, look, look at this one over here, flapping away. It's their home. And they like to tell us about it as well. Well, there may have been a sign for deep water. Uh, it looks quite shallow to me. We're gonna cross the little bridge and uh, see what's on the other side. Well, we're only about 20, 25 minutes away from Uxbridge. Yet, look at this. We're right in the middle of the countryside here. Chalfont St Giles, I just love this place. We stayed here once a couple of years ago just for one night and it just felt as though we were like hundreds of miles away from home. It's a fabulous place. Don't you just love the quiet? It's a little too quiet but sometimes you just need the peace because it's crazy out in your neck of the woods, your area, so it's always good to get out, recharge, get some fresh air, and yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Come for the journey. This is the sort of sign I really love. Um, don't know which way to go, left or right. Oh well, the choice is up to you. This is so lovely. There's like a walk up there as well you can do. Oh. It says it's the South Bucks Way. It's called Crown Coffee now. The last time we were here, this was Acosta, but you can see from the, the building, um, it looks a lot more historic than an old coffee shop. In fact, it used to be a pub. This is the Feathers, or just Feathers, pub. And look at this, absolutely fantastic. Feathers flowers, how quaint. the 
gets in there. Every village has a bakery. So now I think it's time for us to go into this one. I love the fact that there is a butchers and a greengrocers here as well. Looking in the middle, looking at the side, looking, okay, looking in the middle, looking at the left hand side, looking at the right hand side where the core is. You find that places like Chalfont St Giles have a community library. And the clue, I think, to places like this is in the name, community. There's a real sense of community, which you don't find in the big cities, I don't think. That's it from Chalfont St Giles. We've got a bus to catch to our next location. Let's get going. Thank you for watching the show. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. I mean, seriously, please subscribe. Welcome to Chalfont St. Peter. Yeah, the sign is right behind us. This is the daddy to Chalfont St. Giles. It's um, much bigger, it's a town, lots of shops, but it still retains that sort of villagey feel, I think. Um, just when you when you walk around, a beautiful church, nice buildings. It really does feel as though you're still out in the in the countryside, miles away from London. Wow, look at this, it's fascinating. All these little woolen hats. I guess they're hats. Garlands, oh look, dolls as well. Little blankets and things, they're all attached to this fence. Oh, and a lovely heart, how nice. Ah, so this is called yarn bombing. So this is Chalfont St. Peter's, right? Peter. Only the one Peter. We came to this place before. I think so. Look behind you, Paul. Oh my god. Look, it's called the Looking Glass, eh? <laughs> Is there an Alice in Wonderland link to that? I so. Look at all these fabulous little shops. Don't you just love places like this? Yeah, there's a certain character to this, don't you think? Yes, very much. Even though it's a bigger place than St Giles, it's a, it's a town, um, but it still has that village feel to it. Look, there's the local greenbush. Ah, House of Cards. 
and I see there is some Christmas stock. I think it's time we went in and got a few bits and pieces for our special Christmas episodes. What do you think? We were here before. Didn't we go inside one time? Yes, I think we did. It's so peaceful. I love village churches like this. This is unusual. Got a little bridge. Has it all dried up? Well, it certainly looks as though it might have been a river at some point, because why else would there be a, a bridge here? We haven't gotten much rain recently, so maybe that's... Well, sorry. I don't know. It, there is one alternative. It could be a walkway for leprechauns. What do you think? Yes. I think that is uh, the likely answer. Oh, look. I love little walks like this. You could be in the middle of nowhere. But in actual fact, we're walking out into the town centre. Here's the answer to the, uh, the river question. It says that the high street in the early 1900s is pictured here. The river is still a ford, but now with a footbridge. In the corner to the left of the alleyway is H. Mills, baker and grocer. And to the right of the shop, the retreat can be seen. A beautiful circa 16th century house demolished in the 1960s. We keep running into the same people. Yes, there seems to be, um, it's a small world around the Chalfons. Well, we're leaving St. Peter now. We have one more destination to go, heading back towards Uxbridge. So we're going to be jumping onto the bus as soon as it arrives again. Well, we've just got off the bus, but Gerrard's Cross is also served by Chiltern Railways and the station is behind us here. There are regular services to High Wycombe in one direction and to London Marlebone the other. So it's a pretty well connected place and it's quite an expensive place to live too, to be honest. So now it's time to explore what's in the area. Gerrard's Cross is well served for shopping. There is a large Tesco store and Waitrose. What did you get? Stanley Tucci. Ah. I like his um, CNN thing, or was it? Uh, yeah, it was CNN, his travels through Italy. through Italy. So, you know what? It's about giving 
a local shops and business to stay afloat. Well done you! We don't go to the cinema anymore because we're fed up with people taking their phones out, talking and just being generally antisocial. But if we were to go to the cinema, the everyman of Gerard's Cross would probably be near the top of the list. Yeah, that'd be great. Finally, a sit-down, Marcus. Time for lunch, I think. Where are we? Oh, Jack and Alice, it says. Yes, quite nice. I think it's time to order some food, I think. I have ordered a chicken tagine with a Goose Island IPA. What about you, Marcus? A big brisket bowl and a pint of rebellion. <laughs> so let's see how this turns out. All good, I hope. Keep you posted. Beef brisket looks nice. So does your rebellion. I have the chicken tagine and the goose. So this looks nice too. Chicken tagine, it was really tasty. It was really what I needed to get me through the stay. Lovely wide open spaces in the East Common, right? Look, there is like even that really uh, modern looking seating area. Yeah. You can even find yourself in a forest not far off the beaten track. <laughs> Scared yet, Paul? Woo! No, it's not a toilet. It says this pump was erected by John Bramley Moore, Esquire MP, in the year 1964 for the use of the Wayfair in Jared Cross. Whosoever will let him take of the water of life freely. Um, somehow I don't think I'm going to be drinking that water. This is St. James's Church in Gerard Cross and it has quite a few interesting features. Most notably, perhaps visibly, is the Chinese dome behind us. Quite interesting to see such Very architecture open. in uh, rural Buckinghamshire, isn't it, Paul? Yes. Very historic. But we do believe that this church also has a hidden secret to uncover. Let's find out. This is an absolutely fabulous building. It's on um, quite a busy road. It's on Oxford Road, uh, which is just outside Gerard Cross. But of course, like with most churches, once you walk into the grounds, um, it becomes quite peaceful. It's all the more striking from the back as well. Before we set out on our journey to the Chalfonts today, I didn't actually realize that on our way, we would come across the final resting place of one of British theater's absolute legends and British film as well. Dame Margaret Rutherford. She was the star of Blythe Spirit playing the part of the um, clairvoyant Madame Arcarty and her grave is right here in this churchyard in Gerard Cross and I think it's quite fitting that her epitaph reads a Blythe Spirit. It's a real honour to stand here today and um, you know it's amazing what you can find on your doorstep. Who knows what is around the corner. And that's it for today. Um, what's been your highlight in the Chalfonts Paul do you think? Getting some much needed fresh air and peace and tranquility. 
And didn't you think that the smallest place we went to, Chalfont St Giles, actually seemed to offer the most interesting selection of things? I mean, it depends, of course, what you want, but the duck pond, that stood out for me. And also all those little bakeries. Oh, yes. And um, in fact, that reminds me, we have something, something baked in our bag <laughs> for later tonight. So from Jared's Cross and the Chalfonts, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye. Bye.